Matt here with uh, Jam Pack Productions, We're interviewing the creator of The Goon. Um, how did everything come about with The Goon? I, I, I give us the development of this character. I mean, apparently uh, you have something in the works now with MTV. Uh, we saw a little synopsis on the trailer, but I honestly don't know this character at all. Okay. I mean, yeah. I don't mean to. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, MTV, we, we just uh, premiered some test footage on uh, MTV's website. They don't have anything to do with uh, the okay. production. So, um, yeah, it's a comic I started a little bit over uh, 10 years ago. Um, I, I was working in the... Oh, what thing? The ominous word of God. Yeah, I know. It's a whole day. I, I just thought the character looked awesome, and I've seen other stuff um, just mentioned about it before. Just, I have been out of comics for so long, and my friends just got me back into it. So uh, there's a lot of cool stuff out there now yeah. that yeah. I didn't even know about. Yeah. And it's fun to see all this, and then yeah. like, to see the trailer. That's why I was like, oh, it, it has yeah. a Sin City SPO, at least uh, character. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't mean that to be offensive at all. No, no, no. It's both. They're both noir. So yeah. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a book I started about ten years ago, uh, and it's just something that I you know I was working in the business and I was just work for hire guy. I wasn't wasn't going too far. I wasn't doing too well with it, uh, just because I felt like I wasn't getting to show what I could do. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I said, screw it. I'm just going to put out my own book, and do the things I want to do, mm -hmm. and that's pretty much what the goon is. I took all the things I love, like. You know, I love old monster movies and noir, you know, all the stuff from the 30s and the 40s, that look and feel, and, um, you know, just kind of, I love drawing big, ugly guys, so <laughs> I crammed all that together, and the goon came out, and, uh, yeah. What's what's the story behind the goon? Who is he? What is he? What, he's, what he's he a, have superpowers? Yeah, no, he's, he's just a big, mean, strong street thug that lives in a world full of uh, like supernatural monsters and stuff but in a weird kind of depression era world okay it's like a mix I guess of reality uh, you could say maybe taking place in that time frame but yeah. yet a very supernatural feel to it yeah it's it's very surrealistic I mean it feels like a depression era world but it's not we don't tell you we don't tell you the name of the town we don't tell you what time it takes place in it just is mm -hmm. so um, you get the impression that this took place in the past but you don't know I mean it, it can be any time any place anywhere you don't really know I try to leave that vague so the reader uh, imparts their own uh, you know view of the world rather than me holding their hand and telling them what it is so. it's their own experience yeah that's yeah. pretty cool um, so where are we at now? Um, I see the books out here, book four. Um, it's just a sketchbook. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm sorry. Um, Issue-wise, I mean, how long has the series been going? You said we're working ten years. Um, ten years. We're about to publish our tenth um, collection. Okay. Um, so we've got quite a few issues out there. <laughs> you know, um, lots of volumes. And the the MTV thing is that is this going to be an animated show? Is this is this something that's in the works? Uh, it was uh, about a year and a half ago. It was optioned by David Fincher and uh, Blur Animation and Dark Horse Entertainment to turn into an animated feature film. Uh, we recently at San Diego Comic Con uh, unveiled uh, some test footage and showed it off, and that pretty much kicked off our pitch to the studios. Um, <laughs> yeah. Um, well, do you think it'll, it'll, will it be released? Like, are you talking like full film uh, theatrical? Theatrical release. That's yeah. Um, so yeah, we uh, uh, we basically started our pitch from San Diego to the studios. They um, they've been setting up meetings. Uh, which will be taking place relatively soon. So hopefully we'll get some good news. Um, and uh, yeah, we've got uh, Paul Giamatti will be voicing Frankie and uh, um, Clancy Brown will be voicing the goon. 
That's cool. That's yeah. very cool. So you guys are, are almost there, basically. Yeah, I mean, we've got we we assemble. We've got it all ready to go. We just got to get the studio attached. So that's that's kind of our game plan. We wanted to. We didn't want to go to a studio with a co- you know throw a co- issue with a comic on the table and go. Yeah, we want to make this. No, we want to. We should got the screenplay, production art, uh, test animation, all there, so they can see what we're going to do. So it's an easier decision for them to make. Is it is it very true to the to the comic? Is yeah. It, is, okay. So yeah, you, I wrote the script, so cool. it's straight up the comic. That's very yeah. cool. Thanks. Sometimes that gets lost, I think, in yeah. translation when they do these the, um, the comic book realm now seems to be where yeah. studios are just pilfering creative um, just works and they're they're killing them in some ways. Yeah. Um, that's cool. It's that's good. You can create full creative control. It's very cool. So what do you see yourself doing in the future? I mean, do you want to constantly work on films? Do, if the animated film kicks off, do you want to do lot, like a, a live action well, I wanna... version? Or is that, I mean, what's the what's the game plan now at this point? Well, if, if we made an animated film and then they wanted to make a, a live action film, it would mean that the animated film did really well. So that would be awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had really, really well. So. It was very, very cool stuff. Um, if we if we had to find you online, you have a website, you yeah, have Facebook, Twitter. Uh, I'm on Twitter and Facebook, and my website is uh, thegoon.com. Cool. So, cool. Yeah. Well, thank you very much for your uh, time. No problem. Thanks, Thanks. man.